Hi there, and welcome to this Cheese Science Toolkit educational video about the chemistry of cheese color. This is part two of our cheese color series, and today we'll be talking about the color of goat cheese and why goat cheese is usually this snow white color. Why is that the case? Now, before we dive into that head first, just a quick recap of what we talked about last time and why cheeses like this. This is just a cheese from a cow that was fed a lot of grass. Why cheeses like this are really yellow. And why, where that color is coming from on a chemical basis. And if everyone remembers, it comes from a compound called beta carotene. Here's beta carotene right here. We talked a little bit about how this goes into the fat of the milk, and then that fat is concentrated when you make cheese, that yellow color comes out. And if there's more beta carotene originally in the cow's diet, like if they're eating more grass, you'll get more yellow color in the fat, more beta carotene in the fat, and when you go to concentrate that fat, there's more yellow color. And we talked a little bit about how this alternating double bonds sort of give that yellow color. That was that was a real deep dive into the chemistry, nothing we were too concerned about. And so what about goat cheese? So what made a cheese that normally turn out to look like this look like this. Let's assume the fat content is not the thing in play here. There's something else going on and there really is something else going on on a chemical basis. Okay, let me clear up some of our screen here, give us some room to play. So something is going on that takes this beta carotene compound, the yellow compound, and making it basically colorless. And what's going on? Well, of course it's the Metabolism or a friendly neighborhood goat here. The person getting the goat milk from. This guy here is a really special digestive tract. And what goats do is when they consume grass and they get the beta carotene in their digestive system, they're going to break it down into a colorless compound. And that colorless compound is something we're all very familiar with. That's just vitamin A. Here's vitamin A right here. So right here, this transformation from here to here is due to the just a goat's metabolism. Goat's metabolism. I really need to work on my handwriting, don't I? And for those who are keen amongst you, you may notice that vitamin A and beta carotene look pretty similar. In fact, all we did for this compound was just clip it in half. A vitamin A is just half of a beta carotene compound. So all goat's digestive systems are doing is breaking that beta carotene in half. Uh, vitamin A is still very fat soluble, so it's still going into the fat and then into the final cheese and the fat in the cheese, but it doesn't have that color. It's, it's not yellow anymore. So that means two main things are gonna happen. Uh, goat's milk cheese will one, lack all that color, be really white, let me try that again, that was pretty bad. H. Be really white. And two, be high in vitamin A. And once you know what they are. And remember, that white color is coming from that lack of beta carotene, which got broken down by their digestive system. And that's really all I have for this video. This one was pretty succinct compared to my last one. Uh, thanks for watching.